This is the Star News Brief from Tina Mombanu. Detectives were yesterday interrogating a man they believed murdered the woman whose mutilated body was found in a dustbin in Nairobi. The suspect was intercepted at Jomo Kenyatta International Airport. He was detained pending identification and interrogation, a police source told the Star. He was detained at the airport before a team of officers from Kasarani and DCI headquarters picked him up for interrogation. The woman's dismembered limbs and arms were wrapped with plastic sheeting and rolled in a bed sheet. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com. Opposition Chief Rilo Dinga has warned Chief Justice Martha Kome against any meeting with the executive. Raila claimed the planned meeting between the two arms of government is a plot to compromise the judiciary. Speaking in Vihiga County, he said the proposed meeting following the president's onslaught against the judiciary is a confirmation that the courts have surrendered to the executive. This comes even as the president welcomes talks with Kome to address alleged corruption in the judiciary. Liz Wanyoike started life as a naive village girl in rural Moranga and rose to a top educator and entrepreneur in Nairobi. Growing up in Gabukene village under a colonial chief who doubled as a Mau Mau agent during the struggle for independence, Liz did not know much, but as time went by, it became clear to her that her bread would be buttered in the education sector. She grew up during the state of emergency in the 1950s that instilled in her a go-getter and fighter spirit. A huge row has erupted between the national and county governments over functions worth 272.2 billion shillings earmarked for devolution. The star has established that the national government, especially ministries set to lose functions and billions, have bitterly disputed the planned transfer of the roles to the devolved units. The development comes after the Intergovernmental Relations Technical Committee identified several devolved functions that are still being performed by the national government. And former Vice President Kalonzo Musioka has set the stage for an epic battle with President William Ruto after securing crucial endorsement by one of his top party organs. Addressing the press on Tuesday after chairing a National Executive Council meeting, the WIPA leader said he will soon begin traversing the country to popularize his bid in the run-up to the 2027 election. The Kalonzo Brigade are preparing the former VP for an endorsement by political bigwigs to pave way for a second presidential bid. Get a copy of The Star by subscribing to our e-paper for only 40 shillings by logging on to www.mgazetti.com.